Hey there, do you have a pain in the butt? Anyway, I'm answering your questions today about sciatica. Lots of emails coming in because we're either over-exercising, which can be a cause, or we're sitting too much, we're on our computers. Sit, 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 get up, please. I urge you to stand up, get out of your seats. That's the number one thing you can do to help alleviate sciatica, which for the record, is really just a, a compressed nerve in the back unless you've got an injury, another, another video. However, for today, we're going to talk to the sitter's disease, sciatica. And by the way, it's just an explanation of some symptoms. It's not a disease and it can be cured. I'm going to help you. So find a stool and stand up or a step, anything in your house, not a tall chair though, okay? Stand up, put the, put the good leg that you're not feeling the pain in on, up on the step and then put a weight around your ankle if you have one. If you don't, don't use a weight. And just let that leg where all that pressure is occurring, just let it hang, hang loose for a little while. That's gonna help decompress that pressure that's back there. And then just like we do, you know, the shoulder exercises for mobility, I'm gonna have you just do some pendulum swings standing on a step. I recommend doing little bouts of these types of exercises all day long, minimum once per hour, 10 swings, this is like a natural form of traction. We can keep you out of the chiropractor's office. And the other thing you want to make sure to do is keep your hamstrings stretched out. So safely, maybe when you brush your teeth in the morning, make sure you're holding something. Put your leg up and try to just stretch your hamstring out. The reason I didn't sit on the ground is because a lot of people who have these bad backs and sciatic issues have a really hard time getting up and down. They also have a hard time doing this with their legs. So you could use a stretch, make sure you're, you're, you know, you're braced and protected, and just gently try to touch your toes. We're all supposed to be able to do that. Not only that, you wanna make sure that you keep your body hydrated with water and nourished with recovery agent. Pain is a sign of, pain depletes nutrients like you wouldn't believe. So you're gonna have to replace the lost nutrients and also make sure that your um, muscles, tendons, ligaments, everything in your body stays lubricated so when you stretch it, it moves and glides. Keep sending me your questions. I'll see you tomorrow.